wearing green? Uh, nah, I never thought I'd be wearing green, but I'm thankful I'm here now. You know, uh, the way life is set up, you know, you never know what's going to come. So I'm just thankful I'm here, though, and I'm, I'm so excited to be here. I'm ready for the season. How did this whole process happen? How did, how did this, how did you guys get together to make this work? Uh, well, you know, I was looking for, I was looking to uh, leave the school I was previously at, and, uh, you know, I miss home a lot, uh, homesick, so, you know, when I wanted to come come back and uh, play for the Green Wave, and uh, a couple coaches reached out that I was uh, pretty close with, so, you know, it felt comfortable coming back home, and uh, I'm excited. Did you always have Tulane on your radar a little bit? Did you, especially with the coaching change and Coach Fritz coming in and maybe seeing some of the success that they've had? Yeah, I definitely had uh, Tulane under the radar watching back home. You know, I, I seen, also seen a couple guys drafted. You know, I seen a couple guys uh, doing pretty well. So, you know, I thought it would be a great fit. And uh, with the coaches here, Coach Fritz, Coach JJ, man, they uh, they really pulled me in and, uh, you know, made me comfortable and told me told me and everything. I'm looking forward to the season. So, so the fact that um, that the school has had some success – Putting defensive backs in the NFL was a factor in your decision, right? Yes, sir. Definitely. What do What do you think you can uh, bring to the uh, to the table here? What do, What do you think you can do that will help the club the best? Uh, well, first of all, I want to win. Uh, I want to want to help this program get to, like we're saying, from good to great. Uh, so you know, I just want to help out. Uh, I got a lot of experience, so you know it's, it's, it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be a pretty great season. I'm looking forward to it. Cal, you went to Holy Cross, and your parents uh, are they still here? Are they still in New Orleans? Do you still have family? And like, what do you think that would be like to be able to? I mean, I guess right now we're, we're unsure whether or not they're gonna be able to come to games. I, would, I wouldn't imagine, but just their excitement level to have you back in town. What, what was their reaction? Oh man, they're excited, man. You know, I came. Mostly came back to get closer to my mom and my family, you know. Uh, they're excited. They don't, they don't have to drive nowhere. Just right up the street, man. And it's, it's, it's awesome. It's a great feeling. They're, they're excited. I'm excited. We can't wait. Have you been up to Holy Cross anytime recently? Uh, no, I haven't been up recently, but I'm, I'm definitely going back there, man. I got a little cousin on the team now, so I'm going to definitely be up there a lot. You know Coach Salt, uh, Salt Fromaggio, the the new head coach there. I uh, never met him, but I heard I heard of him. Uh, and like I said, uh, I I'll make my way up there pretty soon, probably when camp is over. And I'm curious, being the guy who um, you know is grad transferring in for th this will be your last year of eligibility, correct? Yes, sir. What, was there any thought um, or or maybe concern or worry that um, you know say this season has a hitch or that people are kind of like devaluing the draft coming up just because of the weird season that maybe you would want to hold your eligibility till like next season was that a, was that a, a part of your thought process at all or did you just oh uh, no to we on playing this year yeah I'm, I'm i'm focused on playing this year i'm preparing for this year you know preparing for my this being my last year so i never really kind of thought of that i'm just preparing right now and ready for now was that something that was was weighed in the decision? I mean, I'm talking like even maybe before you transferred to Tulane. I mean, was that – I know this is such a developing situation, but was that a, a concern at all to you, just being a guy who's – you know, know he has – notice he has one year left to, you know, be able to give scouts a, a good evaluation? Uh, it, it it wasn't. It really wasn't. You know, I, I, I just need – I feel like I just need one year to show everybody what I can display. So, it wasn't really an issue. Yeah. Kyle, well, I guess you're really hoping that at some point fans can get in the stands because you, you want you want your family to come in and see you play. I mean, I guess you're really keeping an eye on that, right? Oh, yes, yes sir, definitely. And my family keeping an eye on it, too. They ready. They go show up and show out, man. Very good. Anything, Anything else? Yeah, last thought, Kyle. I'm just curious, too. The, um, you know, the coaching change at Florida State a few years back and, you know, obviously with – with Taggart there, you know, the program seemed to kind of to fall off a little bit. And I know you mentioned you kind of kept an eye on Tulane, but just kind of the, the Florida State program not being what it normally is, how much did that kind of factor into maybe you looking around and thinking maybe 
I need to find another spot for me to be able to to reach my highest potential? Uh, it really didn't have nothing to do with the program. Florida State is a big, great program, and it will be, and they, and they they will get back to greatness. I know they will. This was kind of like a personal uh, move, you know, myself and I. Uh, I just thought it was gonna be better for me to, uh, you know, move on and go play somewhere else. Anything else? Anything else? All right, Kyle. Thank you. Thank y'all.